But Peter, you know, a lot of jokes are about short people or tall people or fat people or very thin people. Or I mean, isn't this the point? I mean, do you really want us to limit the content matter that comedians could put out? Surely it's up to us as consumers to make a decision as to what we're prepared to spend our money on. Ideally, there should be no limits. I agree. But we also have to think about consequences. And, you know, there are com great comedians like Michael McIntyre and Sarah Millican who don't go straight to the jugular. <laughs> they don't dig the knife into the vulnerable groups in, in the same way that Vic Ricky has done in this particular show. Mind you, it needs to be added that most of this show is not about trans issues. It's actually a critique of no. supernatural and superstitious beliefs. And he's having a go at organized religion and... Um, you know, that, that's probably something that a lot of people can relate to. And, of course, organised religion is very powerful. It's not as if it's a powerless institution. No, but also there are lots of people involved in organised religion who may well find that offensive. I mean, it may be a few years ago, but the life of Brian caused outrage amongst the churches, if you remember, when it came out. Uh, maybe, Peter, the answer to all of this is maybe we all need to get a bit of a thicker skin. And maybe what Ricky Gervais has done is to reopen the door to comedians being able to make fun of a wider range of subjects. And maybe that's a good thing if we believe in free speech, even if at times it's in bad taste. Well, on your point about, you know, people of religious belief being offended, I think there's a big difference between ridiculing an idea and ridiculing a person, you know, I, I may not agree with everyone, but, you know, I, I try to avoid, you know, ridiculing or disrespecting people. But I will certainly challenge some ideas that I find uh, disagreeable and offensive. And I think we need to make that distinction. What v Ricky has done here is not targeted an idea. He's targeted a group of people who are already on the receiving end of an awful lot of toxic abuse. And I just think uh, he could find, you know, better, stronger targets and, you know, you know, Go for the rich and the powerful. Go for the people who, who, who've got, you know, plenty and, and privilege. Um, go for those people rather than the weak and the vulnerable. All right, Peter Tatchell, as ever, great to talk to you. Thank you for coming on the show here with me on GB News.